ACL reconstruction is safe and effective for patients of all ages, and complications are fortunately rare. However, like any operation, there are some risks. Skin infection occurs in less than 1% of patients, and is mild if it does occur. You may require some tablet antibiotics if this happened, but there would be no long-term consequences. The risk of a deep infection inside the knee is very rare, less than one in a thousand patients. If this occurred, you would require another keyhole operation to wash the infection out and antibiotics for a number of weeks. It is not uncommon for patients to have a numb patch of skin on the outside of their leg. This is due to very small nerves about the size of a human hair being cut through when the skin incision is made on your leg. This will cause no functional problems, but it may feel unusual. It can improve significantly over a six month period and taking 500 milligrams of vitamin C twice a day for three months will assist this recovery. In some patients, the decreased sensation can be permanent. It may take two to six weeks for you to get your knee fully straight. Ideally, you would achieve this by two weeks, but in some patients, this takes longer. Pain, swelling, and scar tissue formation within your knee can all limit this. If your knee remains stiff for three months or longer, then you may require another keyhole operation to remove scar tissue from your knee joint to improve your range of motion. Rarely, a patient may never regain their full knee straightening. The risk of a blood clot or DVT is low after ACL reconstruction. Most patients will not require any blood thinning medication. There is a risk that you could re-rupture your reconstructed ACL. The risk of re-rupture depends upon your age, gender, type of sport you wish to return to, and also how much time and effort you put into rehabilitation. You are actually more likely to rupture the ACL on your other non-injured knee than you are your reconstructed knee. If you did re-rupture your reconstructed knee, then it can be reconstructed again. The recovery is the same as the original procedure. Swelling can persist within your knee for several months. Remember that it takes 12 months for that graft to fully heal inside your knee. And your knee is also recovering from a very large injury. When you return to full training and sports, your knee may also swell again for a period of time. There is a longer term risk of pain and arthritis within your knee, largely due to the bone and cartilage bruising that occurred at the time of injury. A severe meniscal or articular cartilage injury will also increase your lifetime risk of arthritis. In my practice, I do see and treat ACL injuries amongst elite athletes in the AFL, AFLW and the NBL. However, the bulk of my patients with ACL injuries are what I would call weekend warriors, regular everyday people that enjoy getting out and playing some sport on the weekends or just keeping fit and active. Because I perform a high volume of ACL surgery, I keep appointments free and available every day only for patients with ACL injuries. So if you would like to be seen quickly, I can usually accommodate that within a few days. If you do have further questions or you'd like to make an appointment, please give me a call in my rooms at any time.